strong and weak acids and bases. Well, Dr. Atkinson, he, he's on YouTube from what I can see here. Actually, he's watching IV chemistry videos on YouTube and you're watching this on YouTube. This is like Inception. This is very exciting. Okay, let's pretend that this is a strong acid here and you can see the flashing blue doodah is a proton. Now, when you put strong acids into water, what happens, let me just throw those in, is that they dissociate and that proton will come off 100% of the time. There's 100% dissociation for strong acids and strong bases, actually. For a base, the OH- ion would come off. For an acid, a proton. Well, what's he looking at now? How dare anyone make fun of chemistry? Leave chemistry alone! Well, here's a weak acid, and you can see once again it has a proton attached to it there. Now, when you put weak acids in water, they're only partially dissociated, which means very, very few of them, you know, one in a thousand, one in a million, will actually release a proton in water. So hydrochloric acid on the left is a strong acid, which means it's fully dissociated in solution. And so every single proton comes off of every single HCl molecule, fully dissociated. On the right-hand side is hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, which means when it's put into water, very, very few protons will actually come off of the acid. And it's the same idea for strong and weak bases, except with hydroxide ions instead of protons coming off. Let's look at an equation. Uh, nitric acid is a strong acid. A one-way arrow, 100% dissociated. Every proton comes off. Weak acid, well, that's partially dissociated, so put in an equilibrium sign. Methanoic acid only occasionally produces an 8-plus ion. Almost all of it remains in the undissociated methanoic acid form. A comparison of the strong and weak follows. The IB wants you to know three things for this assessment statement. The first thing is that strong acids and bases have a higher conductivity. They have more freely moving charged particles, which means they conduct electricity better. Strong uh, undergo faster reaction because they have more ions in solution to react, a higher concentration of those reactive ions in solution. And the syllabus says that the weak are relatively safe, but I wouldn't gargle with them or wash your hair with them or anything like that. 